welcome back to my channel and welcome if you're new. Um, I'm Charlotte and this is Budgeting with C, um, a channel that I've set up to A, keep myself accountable, um, to get some debt paid off and get us back on our feet financially um, and B, to kind of just, how do I put it, just kind of understand where we're spending our money and actually allocate our money to things that we need it for rather than just spend it on Amazon um, or takeaways, McDonald's. Um, yeah, so that's what we're here for and this is this is my channel. Um, you can tell I haven't really planned this part of the video, can't you? <laughs> anyway, so today I thought I would share with you my savings goals for 2022 and kind of where we are at the moment and where we're hoping to get. Um, so I'm just going to literally dive straight, straight into it. So the first savings challenge that I've kind of already started is a little kind of change saving. And this is just something really quickly that I did. And it's literally just penny to 100 penny, 100 pennies. Um, and I'm just literally popping it in this jar and crossing it off when I've got it. I'll probably just keep doing it. To be fair, I'll probably just end up chucking all my change in there um, and then counting it at the end of the year and just get rid of this. Um, I might even get a couple of separate jars and do kind of copper, silver and then pounds, um, two pounds in one. We'll see, we'll see how it goes. Um, so yeah, that's that and that is just kind of a, I don't know what to do with the change. I don't want to bug out in my purse so just just put it in there and every penny counts so yeah that's kind of at the end of the year thing um and then we've got some savings challenges here um we've got a few um a couple i've bought from planning with ella and then some i've actually created myself as well um originally just a little bit of fun but hopefully fingers crossed everything goes according to plan we will have them on etsy soon so let me just go through. Um, let's start with the. Let's start with these. This one first, because um, it's pretty self-explanatory. This is a travel bingo, and this is one that I created myself. Um, and basically, as you can see, it's just to save these amounts um, in in your wallet, and then you just cross them off um, once you've saved them. So that is this one. So let's get the holiday wallet. Um, I'm gonna count what's in here and see which ones we can mark off. So we've got in total 20, 40, 60, 81, 20, 5, 10. Sorry. I'll do that again at 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 120, 125, 130, that's better. So we've got 130 in there. Um, I'm waiting for Sharpies to come, so I found this marker in the cupboard, um, if it wants to focus. We're going to try it, I've got a feeling it's just going to bubble and it's not actually going to go on. Let's give it a go. So let's do 100, yeah, that's not going to work. Let me go and see if I've got another pen. Right, I found another one. Let's give this one a go. So let's mark off 100. Let's mark off, let's just mark off the 30, so that's 130. Let's pop that one away, is this really dry? Oh, by the way, I've laminated these so that once it's filled, I can then just wipe it off and we can start again. Um, because I would like the holiday fund just to kind of keep topped up. Um, because once we've been on holiday this year, I would like to be able to save for weekends away or even next year's holiday. So the next one is a Christmas savings challenge. And this is going to save us £500. And um, as you can see, I have actually started using this one, and this one isn't laminated. Um, 
I need to kind of find some time to print off another one and get it laminated and um, I started using this before I think I've just said that while I'm repeating myself um, yeah so I have actually crossed two of these numbers off £500 definitely not going to be enough for Christmas but it's a starting point um, hopefully I'll fill it before well before then and we can do it again and it'll maybe get us a £1,000 which would probably be enough for presents and for kind of food and little little things we're going on so let's find Christmas. So I've crossed off 215, so I should have 30, 10, 20, 30, yeah. And I'm just because I like things to be the same, going to cross this off in this marker pen. Although I'm saying oh, maybe a thousand, I really want to cut back this Christmas. I just find that we spend far too much money at Christmas and it's just not, not always necessary. Um, and obviously we've got our little boy, our focus is more going to be on him. Um, so I'm really going to try and cut back. Yeah, going to try anyway. Um, but out of interest, what do you spend at Christmas? Like around what, how much? Do you just keep it to a couple of hundred? Doesn't normally hit the thousand mark. Yeah, let me know what you what you normally do. And then we've got the £500 savings challenge, which again is one that I created. Um, and this is £20, so each one is £20. Um, what am I going to pop this in? I'll cut this. in car insurance um i am going to change this this wallet to just car so that it is um car insurance and car tax we're not gonna be able to pay our car insurance off outright this year um because just obviously we've only just started doing this and we need to be able to build it before we can afford to do that but i think i'll pop this in here for next year so what we've got so far is 10 15 20 so i can mark one off so that works Quite well. It's fun having these little savings cards in because it makes you want to put the money in those wallets. I mean, cars not one that I would really enjoy stuffing. There's others that I would much prefer putting the money in, but being able to cross um, something off really helps. Uh, helps me anyway. And the next is very similar. This is one thousand one thousand pounds. Um, and again, this is saving £40 each time. I know I'm putting this in my debt folder um, just because that will be a good chunk of our debt. And as you can see, there's just a little placeholder here for £200 um, because I wanted to pay it straight off debt so that we weren't paying the interest or any more interest. So I can do how many? I'm going to have to get the calculator because half nine and I've got a three month old baby so my brain isn't the best oh. yeah so we're doing 200 divided by 40 so I can do five wow that was actually really simple so we can cross off five of these which is nice one two And hopefully by the end of March, we've crossed hopefully another five. That will be a great, a great feeling. Um, and then we've got the last two, which are the planning with Ella templates. Um, so I just ordered the download ones off Etsy, bought them. Um, and I've just printed them off and again I've laminated them so that I can use them again. This was a really fun one so it's 2022 20, savings and you save 20, 22 times which gets you 440. Where are we going to put this one? I'm going to pop this one. into the 
the future envelope um it has only got five i think at the moment yeah it's only got five at the moment so i can't cross anything off um but this is one that i would like to start stuffing a little bit more and hopefully if i do it 20 pound every month or, or so then i can do this by the end of 2022 and at least we've got 440 pounds saved so let's pop that one in there And the last one of planning with Ella is the 52 weeks challenge. Now, obviously, I'm slightly behind on this now um, because I would have liked to have done this every week. But I think I'm going to try and catch up with it. So hopefully by the end of March, I'm so confused what month we're in then, um, I'll be caught up on this, but we'll, we'll work it out. Um, and I'm actually going to put this in the help to buy folder um which is the help to buy folder actually that means i can cross them off the help to buy folder is the help to buy loan that we got from the government when we bought our house um and we want to start chipping away at it because the interest ends the interest free period ends soon so it'll be nice to have had some of that off so i've got five in there so i might do two and three just because Let's cross them two off. There we go. And that is all of my savings challenges um, and kind of goals for 2022. Obviously debt, we would like to just get all of our debt paid off this year. But we'll see. We'll see how what happens. Um, and actually, the other one that I would really like to add is the envelope. I think it's a hundred envelopes challenge. Um, but I'm just trying to source some envelopes at the moment to make them myself. Um, so yeah, that one looked quite fun. So I thought we'd we'd maybe start that one. And yeah, so that is the end of today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you so much for all of your support and love on my last video and next video will be my march budget which i'm really excited to do um i've kind of already started planning it in my head just so that i know what's going where but yeah i'm really excited to start that one and we'll see you then bye